Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to talk about the freestyle workbench under Katia Shapes. So if you go to Start, Shape, and then go to Freestyle, this is the environment in which you can uh, basically create surfaces without the common uh, techniques and the, com the commands that you typically use like extrude, revolve, uh, fill, and uh, other types of things, multi-section. So here you can start with just like a uh, rectangular uh, canvas or anything like that and then put some control points on it and then um, move the control points in different directions and based on the motion of those control points you can deform the surface to your desired shape so this is really good for uh, shapes where the surface is not necessarily mathematically described right or very hard to create using uh, typical tools so or let's say if you have some a solid model and you want to create a surface that fits to that solid model so let's say here if I go to this um, XY plane and then create a sketch right I can uh, make that sketch in generative shape design and all I do I create a square okay so here I just make a square and I get out, go back to freestyle, and then uh, fill it with a surface. So I use the command fill here, this guy. And I select the edges one by one. And it fits a surface to it. Now I can apply my control points to this surface. So here I use this command here, the control points, and I apply it to the surface. And it uh, generates basically 16 control points on the edges and inside my surface uh, that I can move. And based on, again, the motion of those points, the surface will be deformed. But sometimes maybe this amount of uh, control points on the surface is not enough for in each direction. So all you need to do is to click on this guy, right, or right click on it, and then what? change the number of control points so each time if i left click on it it adds one to the number of control points in that direction or as i said i can right click and choose let's say 10 in here and then 10 in here maybe correct so you can choose to um, completely um, control how many number of points you want in each direction and then without you saying okay now you can select what is it that you need to uh, be able to move. Do you want to only be able to move a control point or do you want to do the mesh only or the points and the mesh, right? And which direction do you want them to move? Do you want the motion of those to be the local normal, which is the uh, line normal to the mesh at that point or the surface? or it could be tangent to it, or it could be on a plane, or what. So let's say I want to move local normal. So if I select a point here, you see it puts this kind of red, green, uh, or orange, green line on that point, and it shows the direction of normal. Now if I uh, hold down the left mouse key and drag, guess what? I can move that point up and not only I move that point up if you look at the surface now you see it already created the bulge here maybe if I show you from the side view you can see it a lot better right so now the surface is definitely what deformed over there and I can further deform it if I want to like this correct so this is all normal motion and then I can do a similar thing, right, for another point. Let's say this point here now, I do a similar thing. 
And then maybe at this point I can move it down. Right, and maybe this one I can also move it down. I don't think I moved the right point. Should be this guy, yes. Again, let's look at it from the side view. Okay, so let's say something like this. And if I now okay it, look what happened to the surface. So I created the um, max, min, and the saddle point really surface, right? In one of my videos, I generated this surface mathematically in MATLAB and then exported the STL to Katia. Now this surface does not exactly perfectly match that surface because I have not used any math function but it is similar to it in the aspect that you see there are two maximum points here and here. There are two minimum points here and here, right? And in the middle, you have a saddle point, right? So you clearly have deformed the surface. Good. So uh, you can do a lot more things to it. Like, let's say if you don't want this, I do a couple of control Z's. And uh, let me again lay out something on here. Not only you can move the points, you can grab the whole edge like this. Okay, and then move all of the points on the edge. And similarly here, right? For example, this one, you can go move it down all the way. See, so I made something like a sine wave in this direction. And now, if I go in the perpendicular direction, correct, now I can select this guy or maybe this one. Now I go up or down. And then maybe this one, I do something similar. I just select again an edge or a deformed edge, right? Correct. So you can see that how I can manipulate the surface and create a deformed surface by selecting a specific point or specific edge. And as I said, the motion is not only limited to vertical motion or perpendicular motion as we just saw. You could also have it uh, do tangent motion too. So let's say I move a point here up like this. I bring it up, right? And now what? Can I now move it sideways instead of just going up? Yes. So now I say what? A local tangent. And now I can move it what? Left and right. So with the combination of these two, you can create what? all sorts of deformations in different directions, right? So look here. Now I created the surface where uh, that uh, peak, right, that I made is tilted, it's skewed like this, correct? So um, it is an extremely powerful tool this uh, control points and the motion on the control points that you can have, right? And again, you can select in which direction to move, right? Whether you want to just move the mesh lines, as you can see, or uh, whatever part of the surface that you want to uh, manipulate. That's one thing, the other tool that I wanted to show you as well as these control points here, because there are some tools here, most of them are for analysis. Um, some of them are similar to a generative shape design and some of them are um, for like this one, fitting to a geometry, this guy, right? But uh, the goal of this video is not a comprehensive uh, study of this uh, freestyle is just the tools that you do not see in other um, uh, 
workbenches. So one of the things I wanted to mention is this uh, extension tool, which is quite an interesting thing. So let's say here you moved an edge like this or next to the edge, right? You made some deformation. Let me just show you something here very fast. Now let me do a specific point like this, something like that. Okay, so here you deform the boundary, make it like this. Now one of the interesting things you can do is this guy here, extend. And when you apply it, it allows you to move each one of the boundaries in such a way that the uh, curvature is uh, continuous at the boundary. Right, so it is going to keep the what? The curvature, as you can see. Okay, so don't be surprised because in each direction it is trying to keep the curvature. That's why if it's not perfectly straight when you extend it, the shape will deform, right? Look here. So if you want to make something longer, then you can easily what? As I said, stretch it and you can make more interesting uh, features. So the combination of these two commands, control points and stretch, can allow you create complicated shapes that are not easily modified mathematically or created mathematically. So I hope this very brief discussion of this topic was useful to you and I will see you in my next video. Thank you.